Let us transition to the NFC oh. South. Yeah. Where are you at right now? I'm at my office on Lake Michigan. I like that. Nice blue water behind me today. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I can see a, a guy on a jet ski behind you. That's my neighbor, Tom. Tom! Waves up, dude. Ask him what he thinks about the Chargers this year. <laughs> he likes them. We were just talking about that the other day. He still yeah. calls them the San Diego Chargers, though. Fucking Tom. That nah, happens, though. Happens to the best of us. All right, NFC South. The New Orleans Saints, I said, when they signed Derek Carr, I said they have guaranteed themselves a home playoff game. I don't know who else wins that division, unless Bryce Young has a really good year. The Saints are nine and a half, though. Yeah. That's I mean, I think else. they could win the division. I don't know if they're like a 10-win football team, though. Yeah, I did this I did this with the Saints last year, and they let me down because, remember, I believed in Jameis. We'll have to look at their schedule. I mean, they do play – when we were win-lossing our Green Bay Packers – I automatically just gave the Packers four wins because they play the NFC South. So that's part of what I think. So right. with the Saints schedule, I mean, they play the NFC South too. They've got yeah. the Titans. They've got the Patriots, the Texans, Jackson. So they've got the AFC South and the NFC North. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Saints. Okay. I'll. They're going to – Jesus. They might have the easiest goddamn schedule in the world. No, no, no. The Eagles have the easiest schedule. Strength of schedule. The Saints play in the South. They have the NFC North, and they have the AFC South. Well, we'll talk. Okay, well, we got to talk about Atlanta and Carolina here in a second. I would not – I don't think I would go over. I went over last year, and you got to remember, like, the way – remember Jameis was 5-2, and and he had, like, 12 touchdowns and three picks. They beat the crap out of the Packers week one. So then I believed in them last year, and my money was tied up all year. In week 14, week 15, week 16, I'm watching freaking Andy Dalton dropping back 40 times per game. So I don't want to do it with the Saints this year. They should win that division if Derek Carr doesn't look like dump like he did last year. But Kamara's going to be suspended the first four games of the season. Michael Thomas hasn't been healthy since, like, the Backstreet Boys were number one on the pop charts. He's got, like, a metal plate in his foot. I do love Chris Olave. The defense is going to be really good. I think that's what I probably own is. one. I didn't own one KN95 mask in my house the last time Michael Thomas was good. Exactly. Yeah. Like he, he hasn't been healthy in forever, and he's getting old. Uh, so, man. Over. I'll still go over. Damn, yeah, I'm not over on the Saints. I'm not over betting it. The but... Saints go marching in. Oh, um, how I want to be in that number when the Saints win me 10 games. Yeah, okay. I'm in. Who's their coach? Dennis Allen? Yeah, Dennis Allen, yeah. Dennis Allen's like the Joe Prunty of coaches. <laughs> That's what I mean though. Like I don't I don't know, man. I could see them blowing and like Derek Carr throwing like fifty picks too. What about your Falcons with your quarterback, Desmond Ritter? Eight and a half. Yeah, I just don't know if he's any good. I didn't even really love him in college, to be honest with you. He looks like he's like 55 years old. But, well, I mean. No, I like them. Who is their running back? Ford? Who? Cincinnati. Oh, Jerome Ford. I was going to say. I thought you meant Atlanta. I'm like, Cincinnati, once like, like they did make the playoff, but they were barely winning those games. And it wasn't because of Desmond Ritter. It their defense. Yeah, Sauce Gardner and those guys. And, I mean, that's what Fickle's a defensive-minded coach. Yeah, I would um, – I guess I would go under here, but, I, I mean, I don't know how good Desmond Ritter has to be because you got to remember how good Marcus Mariota looked those first, like, four, six weeks of the season before he quit and got hurt and benched. But, uh, dude, they got Tyler Algier. They got Patterson. Now they got Bijan Robinson, who I love. They got Kyle Pitts. They have Drake London. But that defense sucks. I'd have to go under, but I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if Desmond Ritter is any good. If they'd be a sneaky, you know, 10, 11 win team, I just don't know that he's going to be any good. He's, he's a big question mark for me. So, uh, under for right now. I'm going to go under the eight and a half on the Falcons. Yeah. As well. The, uh, Carolina Panthers are seven and a half. Over. I don't know, man. I guess they're playing the same divisions that, that the Saints are. So, yeah, I'm going to go over on Carolina because, I'm a Bryce Young believer. I know he's small, 
<laughs> yeah, but they I, could they could win eight games. I'll go over with you. Remember how good they were after they like traded everybody last year? I mean, they got a pretty solid defense. They have a solid run game, even after they traded away Christian McCaffrey. Somehow the run game got better. And uh I like Bryce Young. I think they'll I think they'll be all right. I think they could win eight, nine games. I think they might surprise some people. So I'm gonna go over on Carolina, under on Atlanta. You know, the Buccaneers at six and a half is such a good number. Like, that's the perfect – that's why this is so hard is – that's exactly what the number should be. Is it that hard, though, dude? Like, is Kyle Trask going to be starting by week five? And, and like, all I the think guys – Baker, I think Baker – Baker puts up some games where it's, like, 300 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah. And they they, like, never win, though. Like I he mean, puts up numbers, yeah. and but he also throws three picks or he fumbles twice. Like he'll be a good fantasy quarterback, but I'm gonna go under the six and a half. Me too. I think that they want to be bad. I think they want Caleb Williams or Drake May. I don't think that the Buccaneers are like, okay, we got our quarterback of the future, fucking Baker Mayfield on his third team, right? You know, I don't think they're. They definitely don't believe sure. in Kyle Trask because if you believe in Kyle Trask, you're not calling for Baker Mayfield. I think you want Caleb Williams or Drake May, and the goal is to lose games. What will be interesting to see, man, is if they trade some of those vet players. You know, like what's going to happen with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin? Guys on the defensive side of the ball are already saying during camp they want to be moved. So I'm going to go under. I think they're going to be a fucking disaster, to be honest with you. 